Now stay tuned for the end of the video for a giveaway of the Jeffree Star Scorpion palette. Oh my God, is Jeffree Star using Eugenia Cooney? Let's talk about it. I'm getting so many messages that Jeffree Star is using Eugenia Cooney. Can you talk about it? You're obsessed with Eugenia Cooney. It's like, okay, well let's talk about it because this is a topic that's been circulating the internet for quite some time. But before I get into that, I wanna say a big thank you to everyone in the comments who likes the video. It helps me out so much. All the new subscribers, all the, I can't get a like to save my life. So like the video, thumbs up the house, and share it with your best friend. Okay, here we go. So I went to Five Below and I freaking got the crumb. You guys remember this? Remember that show All Real Monsters from Nickelodeon? Let me show it to you. Like, look how cute this is. You guys remember him from the show? I, and I only bought him because I feel like he gets no love. And I was like, I love him. He doesn't love me, but I love him. So I got it. So this is crumb. I remember him. So anyways, I like Oblina. I think that was one of the characters too. All right. So people are saying that Eugenia Cooney was smoking the ganja with Jeffrey Boom Boom Star. And people were saying that because Eugenia Cooney was on the live stream at Jeffrey's house. And during the live stream, people in the comments were saying that, you know, her, her eyes look a little bloodshot red. And she actually addressed it. You know, cause sometimes you'll get comments and you see it, but you don't acknowledge them. You just keep going. Mm -mm. She addressed it. So here's what she had to say, roll it. When are you guys leaving? It does make sense. What do you mean it makes no sense? It makes perfect sense, you guys. What are you talking about? All right, uh... <laughs> Where's Jeffrey? Oh my gosh, guys, Jeffrey's amazing. He's here like, you know, getting his makeup done. He's looking so beautiful. <laughs> But yeah, we just only, I only want to put him like on the camera when he wants to be on. I wouldn't want to like, you know, just be like every second, like, hey, Jeffrey, be on camera again, you know? <laughs> so only when he wants to, ever. Um, are my eyes dry? I don't think so. Um, <laughs> yeah, thanks, Jeffrey. I think you feel pretty lubricated, you know, like. Guys, Jeffrey showed me like this super cool like eye drop thing. And I'm like, now you guys can't tell me my eyes look. They think they're that red. Okay. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Mm, okay, maybe I guess they're. I guess like sometimes it's bound to happen. Oh, is, it, is, that, is that like... Yeah, it makes it... It's, it's for your eyes. Oh, is it, is it okay? Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Oh, this is when they love to tell me, actually, all the time. I don't know. But they... I don't know what they really think Okay, let's go. Let's see who that is. But they always say that. Oh, my gosh. Thank you so much, Jeffrey. Actually, I've never used these kind of... Oh, my gosh. That's so cool. Oh, but listen, let me tell you something. Thank you so much. <laughs> All right, grab a snack and come on back. You already know you're coming for the hottest tea. Ain't no scandal I can't handle. All right, I don't think that she was necessarily with that, okay? Because soon after that, they went bowling and Jeffree Star was eating a pizza. Apparently people are upset that he eats around her. I don't really see an issue with that. I think that's perfectly normal. And you know, for all we know, Eugenia Cooney does eat, just doesn't really put it on camera. So I just, I just think that like, when people say that she doesn't eat, I think that's messed up because she would have to in order to live, right? But anyways, they went to the bowling alley. Jeffree Star was there. She did bowl. She did get up and throw the ball and you know, she just pretty much just sat there the whole time and just have a normal day with her friends. She was just vibing out. Now Jeffree Star was eating the pizza. I just find Jeffree Star eating the pizza more interesting than anything else that happened the whole entire weekend. I, I don't know, I just, he could eat the pizza and I'm just sitting there, I'm just like, I'll, I don't know. I just, I'm just, I'm like, I like that. I like the whole pizza thing. Okay, so moving on after that, there's speculation that there's some type of drama between Jeffrey and Eugenia. That they're on the verge of, their relationship is crumbling in front of our eyes. And the reason for this is because there's a private jet situation. So Eugenia attended Jeffree Star's birthday party in Beverly Hills, or was it Hollywood? One of those. And Shane Dawson was there, Rylan Adams, there was a pink scorpion cake. 
and that whole gig, right? Like everybody was there. Well then, if you watch the Instagram stories, Jeffree Star flew on a private jet back to Casper, Wyoming. And he took some of his TikTok friends with them, like Paul Dow and Barb's and things like that. But Eugenia wasn't on that private jet. Instead, what we saw was Eugenia flying on a commercial airline to Wyoming. And so people were saying, well, why wasn't she on the private jet? And so that's why you have like this, people are saying, well, why, maybe he didn't want her. Maybe she was getting on his nerves. Maybe there's a fallout starting to happen. And then there's all these questions about where's Deb, which is Eugenia Cooney's mom. What, did she attend any of this at all? And I was like, huh, what, did she attend it? Because the whole entire weekend of the Jeffree Star launch party in LA and in Casper, Eugenia Cooney's mom was nowhere to be seen. So people don't know if she was there or not. Now I do have some reservations and I'll tell you about that in a minute. So Eugenia Cooney flew on a regular airplane. Jeffree Star flew, flew on a private jet. Maybe he didn't have room, enough room for Eugenia and her mom. Okay, I don't know. Uh, very interesting tea. So yeah, you know, I think maybe they didn't have enough room for her and the mom, if the mom was there. But Eugenia Cootie made it to Casper. She was there at the Jeffree Star event. They took photos together. There's a new group of friends that Jeffree's hanging out with. And I hope that they do right by him and they don't, you know, have a falling out like the old friends. Okay, so my opinion is, I just want to say this, and, and I don't understand if this is the case, why Eugenia doesn't say it, or the mom, I think, let me just, let me just put it this way. Everyone is saying, why is Eugenia's Cooney mom always around her? Why can't Eugenia do anything alone? Yada, yada, yada. My two reservations on it is one would be due to medical issues. She is the guardian, not the, you know, conservatorship thing, not that, not access to bank accounts or like that, no. But honestly, in the sense of like, you know, like if anything was to happen to her, she's a high risk. So the mom is there with her at all times. Like a kind of like a nurse type thing that's always there. That's the only, that's one thing I could think of. Second thing, my second reservation would be because, because Eugenia Cooney is, you know, Eugenia Cooney, she's a so socialite celebrity within her own right. People might want to like attack her or grab her. It's just, it's best that she always has somebody with her at all times. So I can see it both ways. I see it like Chanel. I see it both ways. I see it courtside and courtroom. So I see that. Now, if it, if it is due to medical reasons that the mom is always with her, you know, the mom can easily say it, not even, because mom can say anything, but Eugenia can easily say, hey, like my mom's always with me due, due to doctor's orders. I have to have somebody with me at all times. And it's my mom. And I think that if she was to say that, it would shut down a lot of speculation and rumors and just kind of like nip it in the bud. But I think that because we don't get that, it drives more conversation and more clicks and views. And Eugenia Cooney, when you Google search her name, as of making this video, like she's trending. Like her name is trending along with Jeffree Star. There's a lot of commentary people talking about her, especially on TikTok. When she goes live on TikTok, she's getting thousands of views and she ultimately seems to be having a good time. Now, there were rumors that she and Jeffree Star were gonna be spending Thanksgiving dinner together and that she was gonna stay there for Thanksgiving. I don't know if that's true or not. I don't know if she has left Casper. She could very much well still be there. But those were just rumors that were circulating that she was gonna spend the holidays with Jeffrey. And if she does, I think that's cool. I think that's cool. And I, and I, and I stick, and I'm gonna double down on what I said. I think that Eugenia Cooney is a lot more confident now than she was before. She's a lot more sassy and snappy and she doesn't take so much, you know, ish like she used to before. Um, and she's, you know, getting into her own controversies too. Like when she called a, Syri a Sir Syrian refugee a scammer and people got all upset about that. The thing is, this is why she called the, Sy the Syrian or Syrian refugee a scammer is because there are people on TikTok who have like a little hut set up behind them and it looks like there's in the um, some type of desert and they're like requesting to battle and begging for you to send them money and they just beg, beg, beg and they keep requesting, requesting, requesting when all actuality is just a fake movie set to get money. Like the whole thing is like fake. Now I'm not saying that the Sir Syrian refugee that she battled was fake, but there's been instances where it's like, this is fake the house. 
So I can see I can see why she would say that. But if you don't know that, then you wouldn't know why she said that. You know what I'm saying? Like she's not saying it from a malicious place. But I digress, girl. Who am I? Yeah, and one more thing. All right, we're gonna switch gears here because we said we were gonna talk about Colleen Ballinger. The, mm -hmm, because that right there, there's, there it is. Because that was, and her show is still on Netflix. Wow. So the Colleen Ballinger situation, you know, when it comes to Colleen Ballinger, I just want to say this, okay? She has posted three videos now, her apology video, her collecting rocks and her baking cookies in the kitchen. It's all, in my, in my opinion, it's very much like, let me post something and then bury it so that people quickly forget. That's what I'm thinking. And if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, I'm going to shoot on over to YouTube because that's where, that's where all, all this took place. So I'm going to go up here. Colleen Ballinger. Get ready, folks. There it is. Oh, she just posted another video. She just posted another video. It, the cats are shook. Look, this little cat right here. The receipts. He sits there, he watches Colleen Ballinger videos, and he gets me all the tea. He reports on it all. You see? Mm -hmm. All upset. So, apparently, there she is. Everything is manipulation, like I said before, from the t-shirt to the hair to the light makeup. Again, she's wearing um, these clothes that make her seem relatable. The whole thing is contrived. She doesn't like collecting rocks. It's, it's all smoke and mirrors. She's, again, using her kids for clicks and views. She is exploiting her children. She did it in the last vlog. And she's back at it again. Like, Colleen Ballinger is back, and she's posting every day because it's Vlogmas to garner clicks and views for the AdSense. She is posting every day, back to back to back to back, to bury the apology video. And she has yet to apologize to the victims. Mm-hmm. She has yet even to reach out to them privately. Like how it's not hard to reach out to someone privately and just and say, hey, you know, I messed up. Sorry about that. You know, and I know people say, well, if she does it, she can incriminate herself. Uh, I, I don't I don't know about that. No. Anyway, so there she is. And every shot of her house is a is spick and span. Like the house is so for someone who has two kids and twins, and the house is always clean. She does not give me like stressed out the house like trying to clean and cook and take care of the kid like none of that like she already has help and she's not showing all that like this is all fake it, she's a performer she's a broadway actress she's putting on a show this is colleen ballinger and this is what you're getting so anyways let me know what you think about that in the comments down below guys that's what i wanted to say about the colleen ballinger thing i've made a two hour video about colleen ballinger if you guys want to see that Leave a star emoji in the chat, all right? I'm just saying, okay? Because it's, I worked really hard on that video, all right. What's going on, guys? I got the Jeffree Star PR Scorpio Palette Collection. I have it all here. I honestly did not think I was gonna get a uh, PR, so thank you so much to Jeffree Star for like sending this to me. I, didn't ever, I don't ever wanna like assume I'm old things or anything like that. Um, especially covering like all the stuff that goes on over the years with Jeffrey. He was still nice enough to send me this huge box of the Scorpio palette, which other people are scared to send T channels, drama channels, PR, because I guess we, they don't want to hear the truth. They don't want the truth. So, uh, you know, they want to hear, oh, love it so much. I mean, yeah, I'm going to keep it real. The good, the bad, and the bottom line. All right. This is the full collection. I went through it, I looked at it. We have everything. Um, and I'm gonna go through as much of it as I can in detail, giving my commentary. Again, thank you so much to Jeffree Star for sending this to me in PR for review and just, you know, thank you guys, thank you so much. All right, so we got the card. Now, one of the fun things about these cards is oftentimes like these photos, we, you don't get to see them on the Instagram or on the campaigns. It's one of those things that like you just, it's just for those, like it's just in this thing only. So you have Jeffree Star standing there. And I believe there's like a cake involved in the background and then there's these models hanging out. I mean, that's, hey, seems like a good party to me. Seems like a good party to me. And then in the background, you have the full collection. Okay, which is really cool. I like the melting dripping cake. All right, 
So, this is a lot. This has to be like, this is the epitome, this is the apogee, which means pinnacle in French. We made it, which actually, if you go to Louis Vuitton, there's a fragrance that Louis Vuitton makes called Apogee, means pinnacle, I believe. That fragrance is so, ugh, smell, ugh. Ah, oh, love it so good, okay. So, first things first, we got the makeup bag. Makeup bag! We got this makeup bag and Honestly, when people said it looks like you can fit a lot in it, yeah, because it's different. You open it this way, and look at that. It's just, it's a lot. We have the tag in there. Definitely going to be using this one, and this is the color that I got with the J-Star logo there. All right, moving right along, we also have, it's so fluffy! We got the yak. Don't come back, yakety yak. We have it right here, check it out. It looks nice, like it's very, like, it's very fluffy, it's very thick, it's not like that hard, stiff material. It is very soft. I could almost use it as a pillow. Actually, yeah. So we'll see. I don't have any dogs or anything. I have cats, so I'm pretty sure they'll like snuggle up to this one. So this is what it looks like here. Uh, a lot of people collect these. I, they come in different colors. I have, uh, what would you call this? Like a plum, burgundy? So yeah, let me know in the chat down below. Now, also, I do want to say, very important tea, very important tea. We are going to be go doing a giveaway because I bought the Scorpio palette with my own money, I didn't know I was gonna get it in PR, so we're gonna have two of these. So this is mine, I'm gonna have a new one for you guys. If we can make it to 5,000 likes, we will do a giveaway, I keep saying that. We will do a giveaway, 5,000 likes, all you have to do in the chat is leave the name of your first grade teacher, if you remember that, or first teacher, how about that? Something like that. Leave that comment, once we hit 5,000 likes, we'll unlock the giveaway, all right. So, I opened it. The It's a trapezoid palette. It's, it's a different design. You know, mainly palettes are like squares, boxes, flat circles or whatever. In this case, we got a whole different mold. It's a trapezoid. Very interesting tea. All the information on the back. It is the artistry palette. You can see this right here. And then there's also some stuff in a different language here. So, uh, which to me, when I see things in different languages there, it's so that maybe it can be sold in that country. Um, Jeffree Star Cosmetics is an international brand. I see it uh, a lot in the overseas stores. So one thing I saw that's pretty cool is this right here, the attention to detail. It is a scorpion little claw or scorpion tail or something. I, that's just, that's small attention to detail. Can we show this? Okay, we can show. Okay, so Jeffree Star uh, naked up here. You can see the scorpions on his body. He has a little chanclas on and he's laying in the sand and the beautiful background. All this is innuendos to what's inside, like the colors, the color palette and the whole vibe. Like the, it is heavy. Actually, I was saying this earlier when I got it. This is much heavier than the Gothic Bitch palette. I'm sorry, Gothic Beach palette. It's much heavier. This is this has some heft to it. And I'm just gonna open it here so you guys can see. There we go. So here are the colors. I want to get this down here, guys. Hold on, because I want to show you guys the difference. So. All right, here was Gothic Beach. Look, I mean, they're night and day. They're two different palettes, but I just want to show you from uh, comparison. There's a lot of colors here. There's a lot to work with. This is a lot to work with. And um, here we go. Now, some of the standout colors to me are, just, are gonna be this Tiffany blue, the blues. I love these up here. Super nice. It doesn't have a scent to it or anything like that. Like, if anything, it just smells like luxury makeup. Like, if I'm, if I'm walking around Saks Fifth Avenue and stuff like that. There you go. That's what it looks like. Should we do a swatch? Should we do, we'll do like one swatch, if we can. Um, I don't know. I, we'll do this blue, because this blue has been calling my eye for such a long time. Oh my gosh. Look at that. All right. I'm not the best at swatches, so like, don't come for me, okay? Okay, there you go. Look at, look how pigment that is. It's nice. Not chalky, smooth. Ah, oh, melts like butter right into the skin. Is that how they say it? Okay, so that was the uh, Scorpio palette. Uh, people are calling it the birthday collection for Jeffree Star's birthday. Here's the packaging that goes with it. It's gonna be this tan color. Here's the bubble wrap with matching tissue of the burgundy again. We have a mirror that we got with the collection. This is it right here. We have the Scorpio logo. Now this is the hand mirror, people collect these. Now this is part of the Scorpio palette collection because there is a white one with blood splatter. There is a, I think another color one with alien blood on it. 
and I think there's another one too, but, and then we have this one right here. So I have two of these now, okay? I'm a collector at this point now, check it out. There we go, ah, so cool. It's a mirror, people don't think it's a mirror, but it's straight up, it's a mirror. You can even hang it if you want it to, right there. That whole gig. All right, let me put this down. Now we're gonna get into a lot of the three new classifications that I'm calling it. So we have two lip oils, right here. Um, my favorite out of the two lip oils, there's one called Pink Aura. I really do enjoy Pink Aura. It, it has a more sweeter scent to it. Um, I think that, yeah, this is gonna be Pink Aura. And then there's another one here. Let me get the name of this one. So if you're debating on the two, I would say Pink Aura, but you know, if you want something, it, and to me, like the, the hints of color doesn't even matter because they don't, it doesn't really show up. It's like very light. It's, uh, if you are familiar with the Wyoming Winter Lip Oil, it's kind of like that. It's not sticky. It is hydrating. I love it. All right. Next thing we're going to go into. Wow, there's so much to go into. Oh my God, there's so much. This collection is huge. Just to be very like, in, just to be very like specific, this is the packaging for the lip oil. It's going to say Pink Aura. This is the packaging right here. This is the design. If you're into packaging and the marketing of it, um, I just want to show it to you. I'm going to open it from the bottom. There's the inside of it. There's a little unicarton. That's what that looks like. All right, moving on to the liquid eyeshadows. I have heard so many great things about Jeffree Star's liquid eyeshadows. There's two of the liquid eyeshadows that I am obsessed with and I wanna share it with you guys. Now, the liquid eyeshadows, if you remember the Jeffree Star wedding collection, those went crazy. People love those liquid eyeshadows and now they're back again. And so this is Jeffree's Diamonds and it's just a liquid eyeshadow that has like this reflect of like of diamonds to it. So I'm just gonna like give it a swatch right here. It dries down very, very good. And the camera's doing it no justice, but there you go. There you go, right there. I'm gonna kind of give it reflex. It's just beautiful. There you go. It's, I, I can't even describe it. I can't even describe it. But that's Jeffree's Diamonds. That's one of them that I, if I was thinking about getting one of them, I would. Uh, another one is gonna be this one right here. I'm obsessed with this one. It's called Scorpio Sand. I tried it on live on my TikTok and people went crazy for it. Look at this color. I'm gonna just, there you go. Scorpio Sand, it is a liquid eyeshadow. It fits my skin tone so well. I struggle with discolor, what do you call that? Discoloration up in this gig right here. And so putting this on, it just covers that up. Almost like a foundation, like a concealer. It is not that, it is a liquid eyeshadow but it just really did something and I like it and it dries down really good. All right, then more liquid eyeshadows. We have Prom Night. So if you are, you know, part of the Jeffree Star universe, some of these colors and names are gonna be similar. They're just going to be in a liquid eyeshadow form. So if you liked it as an eyeshadow, here it is again as a liquid eyeshadow. So that's that whole gig. And then we have more colors here, and this one is called Garden Grove. I, is it? Is that near Anaheim, California? It, it, this is, it was named after some place he had grew up or lived or something. So that's Garden Grove. It kind of reminds me of like a military green. Unicorn Blood is another color that we have heard before in the liquid lipsticks, and now we have it in a little liquid eyeshadow. There's Unicorn Blood. November Baby, here's another one right here. They have the little Scorpio logo on it. And so, if you, know, if you made it this far in the video, drop a scorpion emoji in the chat, and I'm gonna put this one just on top. Again, they dry down really fast. They look good. I, in my opinion, I would, this is just me. Everyone can do it differently. I would honestly get a brush, put the liquid eyeshadow on there, do it with the brush, or get your finger, dab it, and then brush it out. I wouldn't really use this um, to like, you know, do the whole gig. I would dab it on, do it with a finger or a brush. My, That's how I would do it. I feel like it would work best that way. All right, then I have in front of me, I have about, let me see, seven new liquid lipsticks. This is the new formula called Shiny Trap. All right, so this is the, what the unicorn looks like. You can see through it, so you can see what you're looking at, which if I put it in here like this, I can kind of show you. This is interesting, so that's what it looks like, like that. All right, I have my favorites. I have my favorites. Okay, so one of them is Camel Humps. I have Camel Humps on right now. I like this color. The attention to detail of this, if you look here, you see how you can see the Scorpion logo and you turn it, you can see the Jeffree Star logo. That's all money. That is all attention to detail. To have 
Cause he could have easily just, you could have just got this lipstick with no indention, no pattern, no stamping, but that's, that's money. That's like the little, the, the little details that, hmm, I see what they did here. All right, and then you have a magnetic closure and a strong magnetic tube. And this is what that looks like, here we go. So it's almost the same bullet we, that we've seen before. Just a different color, more detail. I like it. Okay, so here we go. This is uh, Camel Humps. I'm just gonna swatch it there. Now, what's so different about this, put a lot on here, there you go. About this formula is that it's shiny. That's why it's called Shiny Trap. So it is just like a regular, li uh, not liquid lipstick, I'm sorry, cream lipstick bullet. But when you swatch it, you have this shiny glossiness to it, almost giving you like hydration. So in my opinion, you know, it just is giving me, a cream lipstick with hydration. You know, does that make sense? Um, and it's shiny. So if you want that shininess on your lips, look at that. It looks good. When you have the shine on it, it just makes your lips, I know mine are all messed up. It makes your lips look like a lot bigger. All right, then next up, you're gonna have Pomeranian Kiss. And I think this is the favorite. This has, I see everybody who has been reviewing this. They just talk about Pomeranian Kiss so much. It's the first one they go to and I'm gonna swatch it here. So here's Pomeranian Kiss. That one right there looks like a nice neutral nude. When You know what I'm saying? I, I would get a Pomeranian Kiss. I'm gonna put it on top, hold on. All right, there you go. I mix the two together. I'm gonna say this about the formula. It's very, very, very creamy, very creamy. It's it's like a, like a stick of butter. It's just, it, that's the only thing I, I could like, I know, I can't believe I said that. Lo loyalty everything is the next one right here. It's just very creamy. All right, um, here we go, I'm gonna give it another swatch here. Very smooth. I'm so shocked at how, I've never, well maybe I have, but this is different. If I'm gonna compare it to anything else that I have used, I would say it's, it's creamier than Juvia's Place, but more shinier than I would say anything Charlotte Tilbury and more hydrating. So it's like, I'm shocked. This is a, this is a formula that, it's different. This is a different formula. Here's deep sting. I'm gonna just, I put it right in the crevice there. There's deep sting here. Because it's so creamy, I wonder if, if it would like waste more, like you would use it faster. All right, this one right here is gonna be called Gardening in Mayhem. All right, I just put that there. So you can see, you can see the whole color, the whole color scheme, the vibe. Then next one, oh, there's the last one I'm gonna save you. You're gonna go crazy for this last one. Here's Scorpio. This last one I'm gonna show you, there's Scorpio, right? That's a really pretty color. This last one I'm gonna show you, Hot Devotion. Hot Devotion, look, I saved the best for last. You guys, put in the comments down below, just type Hot, hot Devotion. Just leave that as a comment. Here it is, let me get some good light. Here we go, here's Hot Devotion. You can see the Scorpion logo. You can see the J-Star logo right there. Hot devotion. All right, we're gonna give this a, this is a good one. Um, Here we go. Look at that. I'm not pressing down hard, letting it, there you go. Oh, such a good red. If you're obsessed with reds, check out Hot Devotion. All right, so that was just some of the stuff I got here. I think I got all of it. Let me know what you think about it in the comments down below. Remember, we are gonna do a giveaway if we can. Here are all the colors that I swatched here. Again, thank you so much, Jefferson, for sending this over NPR. Um, the good, the bad, and the bottom line. I noticed that the price of the palette has gone up, but I will say this. When it comes to pricing, and this is what people aren't talking about, and I noticed they aren't talking about, and I went to Saks Fifth Avenue the other day, because I literally, I live real close to it, so I'm always there playing around in the beauty department with stuff. You, you think I'm a crazy person. This is how I know, like I'm there, and I'm just, oh, this is new Charlotte Tilbury. Oh, this is a new Chanel. Oh, you get to the new La Prairie, Sicily, Paris. And I'm just like, you know, oh, you got a new La Mer. And I'm playing with it. I'm like, okay. And then I see independent brands come out with stuff better than that or at that, at that same quality, but at a better price. Okay, so what I noticed about the beauty industry lately is that prices have gone up. And I've noticed this at Sephora.com. I was looking at things and I'm just like, huh. And I, I'm not gonna say any brand specifically at Sephora, but I've noticed that some makeup brands at Sephora up their prices and I'm just like, this is interesting. I wonder why. And then I was like, oh, inflation. I guess pricing of, pricings of things have gone up. So this is very interesting. I've seen a lot of prices go up when it comes to the makeup world. So when I saw Jeffree Star coming in at this palette, it was like 55, $60, something like that. I was like, okay, it's on trend with everything. And then the quality is there, the trapezoid, I mean, all the shades of the color, but at the same time, you're getting the quality, the, that pearl, 
that the more pearl you put in there, that more shiny and smoothness, that's what really what you're paying for. So it's great quality. I'm not mad at it. I can tell that this stuff here was really thought out and it's, how can I put it to you? It's like, um, there's a difference if I get like, if I get a bronzer made in America, if I get a bronzer made in China, and if I get a bronzer made in Paris. If I go to those three places and I buy a bronzer, the one in the, the overseas one, Paris version, it just, it's a lot more better. It, it just, it's, it, it gives a different vibe, right? Um, and I can see, being doing this for so long, I can see the quality in it. And it's one of those things that if you haven't been in it for a long time, you're, you're not, or just, or you're new to it, you're not gonna catch it. But if you're in it, and once you swatch it and you feel it, you're like, ah, I can see it now. So, sh sh like, shout out to Jeffrey. I see a lot of brands cutting back. That's not what is going on here. I think a lot of people were anticipating Jeffree Star to maybe cut back on design and formula. Here he is again, dropping another palette, almost, what, six weeks after Gothic Beach? Another full collection with merch, fluffies and dolls, mirrors, when other brands aren't even doing that. They only afford to drop one thing a year, and Jeffree's dropping multiple collections. I'm just shook. So congratulations, happy birthday. Leave in the chat, happy birthday Jeffree Star in the chat, you made it this far, congratulations. I love the palette, I love the colors. Some of these I am gonna reach for. Some of them I'm not gonna reach for. For example, Hot Devotion, although it's a beautiful red, I don't really wear red lipstick, but I know a lot of guys out and the girls out there love red lipstick, so that's for y'all and it's really good. So some of this stuff I would definitely reach for. I think the lip oils are a hit. If you're gonna ask me what's gonna sell the most, the lip oils are gonna sell the most. It, it, gives, it gives that whole vibe of like, I'm not really into makeup, but I'm kind of into makeup, and lip oils are gonna sell the most, especially because they're tinted. Hot Devotion, I think is gonna sell. I think Palm Ring and Kiss is gonna be a good seller. I also think Camel Humps will be a good seller. I think um, the liquid eyeshadows, which are uh, Jeffree Star's diamonds, are gonna sell. And I think this one will sell. Which I think it's called Something Sand, um, Scorpion Sand or Scorpio Sand. These two right here, liquid eyeshadows, I think are the star of the show when it comes to this collection. And also for those hardcore fans of the pink, I think that prom night will sell well. I think people who are maybe doing something for editorial reasons, these might come next. All right, let me know what you think about that in the comments down below and I'll see you guys later. Bye.